Hello and welcome. Please read the problem, pause the video, and try it on your own. See what you can do. Alright, so here they're asking us to find the following quotient in scientific E notation. And uh, again, we have a lot of things happening here in terms of terminology. We've got scientific notation again. So a number A, let's say we we'll use variables, times a power of 10. Where A is between 1 and 10, it could be positive or negative, so put absolute value there. And it could equal 1, but it can't equal 10. And B can equal any integer. So these are some basic things that we need to think about in scientific notation. E notation is just a shorthand way of writing scientific notation. If I was using these same variables, right, instead of writing A times 10 to the B, I could write that using E notation as A, E, B, where A is the first number, and then E refers to our base of 10, and the number after E is our exponent B. So we're going to use that notation here. All right, so we're dividing two numbers in science, and well, they're not in scientific notation yet, right? We're dividing two numbers. And we see multiplication, we see division. It might be a little overwhelming. What I would do is, first of all, convert uh, my numbers to powers of 10. It usually makes the problem a lot more manageable. I'm a little overwhelmed by thinking of 1,300 going to this huge power of 10. So 1,300 is 1 1.3 times 10 to the third, right? If we take 1.3 and multiply it by 10 three times, that would give us 1,300. These are equivalent. And you could just say, I put a decimal here between the 1 and 3, which is three places over from where it was before. So to move it back, I have to multiply it by 3 powers of 10 again. Now here, to, to really set this up, what I would do is write a fraction. Um, and when I do that, 2.6 times 10 to the 16th, I put that in my numerator, I'm dividing that by 1.3 times 10 to the third. Now this means the exact same thing, just written in a different way. I like this because this reminds me that because there's multiplication in numerator and denominator, I could pair up these terms that are easy to cancel out. 2.6 over 1.3, well, that's just 2. I think of 13 going into 26 as being equivalent, right, as an equivalent fraction. I think, okay, 2.6 divided by 1.3, if I multiply both by 10, that's the same thing as 26 over 13, which is 2. And then we've got 2 powers of 10 that we're dividing. Now when we divide 2 powers of 10 with the same base, we subtract the exponents, and we get 13. And that's our answer. We want to write an E notation, so 2E13. And that's it. All right, hope this helped.